Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today I'm going to be doing an anime figure and merchandise haul. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm very excited for this haul because I got some amazing things and I'm excited to show you guys. Starting off, I got some Jujutsu Kaisen can badges. I got this really adorable Itadori Yuji can badge. I love the holographic finish on these. It looks great and the artwork is so adorable. I also got this Gojo one and once again, I love him and I love this artwork. I love his like a gold chain that's like hilarious to me and he's just such an adorable like can badge. The next can badges I got were some MXTX can badges. I got this really adorable one. I was just from Modal Zushi. I'm absolutely in love and then I got this one of the two of them. <laughs> I love this chibi art style. It is so cute and I think it just really suits the characters and just the artwork is really... Moving on, I got some Haikyuu can badges. I got this really cool Bokuto one, and then I also got this Osamu one, and I love how they're in these more traditional clothing. I was so excited to get Bokuto since he is my favorite character, and I always get Akashi instead of Bokuto. Another Jujutsu Kaisen can badge I got was this Megumi one. I'm not a big fan of this, and Megumi is not like my favorite character, so I might sell him on my Mercari, I don't know, but he is really cute. I got this really adorable Spy Family can badge of Void. I love how he's like has food in his hand and this is a very interesting finish as it's like matte and i don't have any matte can badges i've never had one before because i like the paper finish but this is like a normal like metal it's just matte which is really interesting in my opinion moving on i got a couple of code geos can badges which i'm so beyond excited about i've been really wanting code geos merchandise but i just can't find any good merchandise for reasonable prices and recently code geos has been getting a lot more merchandise available near me and like the figures i believe are going to be getting a re-release so it's very exciting so i was lucky enough to pull my favorite character twice because i got two blind bags and i was lucky to get my favorite character twice in just two different variants and that is lelouch i got him and these are both like holographic and it's just such nice quality and here's the other lelouch and i just love the holographic elements it is just these these look amazing definitely some of my favorite can badges in my collection i just love them so much the last can badge i got was one that i was not really expecting to find and i didn't really know they had merchandise out for and that is just clamp in general they are these clamp can badges these are giant these are i think three inches because they're like the size of my palm and i'm just in love with clamp artwork so to get can badges of it like i was so excited so i got one since i didn't know what was available and what type of style they're actually going for but after opening this uh can badge up i'm definitely going to have to get more if not the entire set because like look how amazing this artwork is like this artwork is beyond crazy and just stunning in every single way so i am so excited to add this to my collection i got a couple of rubber straps I got this really cute Oikawa and casual clothes with glasses and running. This is a needle tan rubber strap. And then I got the matching Iwaizumi one. I was so lucky to get both of them in one and like the poles that I got because I only got two of them. So I got both of them. So cute. So yeah. Moving on, I got this uh, Code Geass blind bag of a blind Chikishi board. I wanted a uh, Lelouch. I got Rolo. I mean, it's really pretty. I love the artwork. So, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> and then the last paper good I got was this Shikishi board of Tokyo Revengers. Uh, this, you get this free with purchase, at least here in the States, when you purchase the Tokyo Revengers manga from Kinokuniya. So that's why I purchased it, was because I wanted the Shikishi board. I got this really adorable shoujo magazine. I am in love. I've never really gotten a shoujo magazine before, but she's just so, like, just like, look at this artwork. It is so cute. I had to get it. The last magazine I got was this one. I believe this is Pash is how you pronounce it. And it has some token Rambu artwork on the cover here. Got some freebies with it. It came with this really beautiful token Rambu um, clear file. I bought this magazine was for this right here. And this is the poster. It is a double-sided poster. There is some token Rambu art on the one side and on the other side. There is some gorgeous MXTX artwork. So, I mean, I will show you guys and then I'll just like insert a clip because this thing is giant. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. This artwork is huge, but like, I love it so much. And then moving on to kind of the last thing before we get into the figures. 
I got an Eda bag. I've never gotten an Eda bag before, so I'm very excited that this is the first Eda bag in my collection. I've just never had one before. I got it in this kind of white canvasy color. It's kind of like a handbag, tote bag type thing. And here's the kind of clear panels, like a canvas uh, sheet that you can put your stuff on. I don't really know how to do Eda bags. If you guys have any tips or tricks, please comment down below and help me. Um, I have some Raised Wild Tan and Gail merch in right now. I really want to know how to mount the shikishi board, like, temporarily, because it keeps falling, as you guys can see, and I don't know how to mount it. Now, moving on to the figures. I ah, got some, I got some crazy deals on these figures, and I'm just so happy with some of the figures I got. Starting off with this first figure is one that I was so excited when it released, as I have been wanting a figure, um, an Android for this series for literally, like, five plus years, and that is Hikaru no Go. Hikaru no Go is one of the two series I am constantly praising on this channel, aside from Dr. Stone. We have Hikaru Shindo here, and I'm in love with him. They did such a good job. I have him, like, playing Go. And, like, look how beautiful his Go board is. And he has such good accessories. He's so well made. He was pretty easy to assemble, which is great. And I'm just so excited to add him to my collection. The next figure is one I got a crazy deal on. Miku! She is beautiful. I love this kimono that she is wearing. Like this obi is gorgeous and I am just like in awe. Like I love her base, how it's kind of like this clear acrylic with like this traditional Japanese like artwork printed on the bottom of it. And I love the plants with the flowers and I love how it has the bird and the umbrella. I just love her so much. I got her for 107 USD, which is a crazy deal. Um, I got her for such a good price because her box had a small scratch on it and it had a little bit of sun damage. Moving on to the last figure I got, um, another one I got from Amazon Japan, and it is this Wu Tianyi figure from the Good Smile Shanghai branch. This is not her full figure, she also has um, a back piece and some more accessories, but this is the easiest way to show her off without me dropping and losing everything, since it's not all like attached to one unit, it's stuff that's like individually placed. So here she is, I just love her so much. I don't have any other Luo Tani figures, but I am just in love with her. I love the clear paneling on her dress, just her dress alone, the sculpting on her is amazing. She is really tiny, she's a 1 8 scale, so yeah, but she's so cute. I got her for around 110 or 111 USD from Amazon Japan, once again a pretty good deal. So. Here is the back piece that she comes with. I love this back piece, especially this acrylic window, kind of like the midnight sky. I just think it's gorgeous, and I just think this really kind of adds to it and makes it look more like a statue than a figure. Um, I will say one con is that since we just recently had a heat wave where I live, um, when I got this box, the bottom is kind of warped a little bit, so it doesn't sit completely flat, so I need to like weigh it down and work on reshaping the base a little bit, but besides that, this is such an amazing figure. I also really love the accessories she comes with. She comes with a light. She comes with a light that actually works. I don't have the batteries for it, but it actually works. She comes with a tree, some like potted plant. She also comes with like these like little, I believe this is a necklace or some prayer beads. I love all the accessories and I just think they did such a good job for her. And her base is like, crazy detailed and I just love her so much. Oh so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I am so happy with everything I got. I got some really amazing figures for some amazing prices and I just love all of the merchandise I got as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to comment down below if you guys have any figure suggestions as I they would be greatly appreciated because I want to get some more figures but I don't really know which manufacturers are the best and it's trying to find like some good figures that I like. I tend to like more traditional looking figures. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>